it's important to understand that there's an intimate connection between the health of your gut microbiome and the functioning of your immune system. And this is really important because we've known that a highly functioning, resilient immune capacity is essential if you're going to be able to fight many of these infections that we're exposed to. So we're gonna dive deep into how and why and the specifics of what you can do to improve that. Looking at healthy microbiomes that are more connected to what my ancestors had and has been lost through a lot of our short-sighted practices and, and technology <laughs> installations, uh, trying to head toward that is much more constructive than me trying to completely overhaul something to, to uh, a, a group of microbes that my, my ancestors never saw. The extent to which the newborn baby became complete or completed itself and that that self-completion is really the installation of the microbiome. If you look at the interference with seeding the microbiome, to me that is like a birth defect. Uh, if you were missing an organ or an, a limb, that would be a birth defect. Here you're missing uh, the majority of your, your genetics uh, and yet that is a correctable birth defect and we need to keep that in mind. So that would really be the push and the goal is to ensure the baby is, is able to have uh, as soon after birth as possible, uh, the robust microbiome that would normally be there. The microbiome has to have some compatibility with the immune system as they're co-maturing. And where you get microbiomes that are really foreign to an immune system, the immune system responds with a massive inflammatory response. So there's a self-attack. If you're growing up on a farm and, and having raw milk and exposed to animals and the microbes that go with that kind of environment, turns out that's rather protective against asthma and allergy uh, later in childhood. Those kind of things, those microbial exposures early in life are really what our ancestors had to develop an appropriately balanced immune system, regulated immune system. If we don't do that, then you're shifted toward a pro-inflammatory state, your regulation of immunity is off, and uh, keep in mind the majority of our immune system is actually located in the gut.